Okay, so welcome back to CKP Tronics. We're going to be resuming our remapping series uh, and we're going to touch on torque limiters. So we're going to touch on an E60 file right here, for example. Uh, if we go to project properties, uh, we can see this is an EDC16 ECU, Bosch BMW, and EDC16, as, you've, as we've been discussing before, is very simple. You can see the tiny amount of data it has. And when I open up an EDC17, you're going to see the, the size difference. It's going to be pretty much the whole file is going to be filled. So I'm going to go to the driver's wish maps because that's where it kind of starts. So a very distinctive 8x14 for, uh, section there. Now BMWs are a bit trickier than your typical EDC16. I'm going to open up uh, this one here, for example. So if we go to our torque limiter, so here's your typical EDC16 torque limiter. Very nice looking, distinctive, uh, rounded shapes here. And you can pretty much pick them out quite easily. Now you notice I only have the first, or sorry, the last three changed, and the first one's not. Not a lot of tuners do this, and um, it's something that all tuners shouldn't do when when you're tuning. They change pretty much as early as twelve fifty, a thousand RPM, and they just do this Mac all the way to four K, twenty to five percent increase. There you go. They're done. In this scenario here, we have yeah, 25% here, 20%, 15%, 28%. Um, and this is the atmosphere pressure. So we're gonna put this in at pressure, and that is in millibars. And here is our engine speed in RPMs. Uh, for EDC16, there's no offset. The offset is just 0 0.1. So normally, the, or sorry, that's the torque itself is an offset of 0 0.1, but the RPM itself has no offset. It's just one. Whereas EDC17 has an offset of 0 0.5. So you'll see like 11,000 or 8,800, for example, for this exact figure here. That isn't the original value. So if I go there, so that would be 10,000. So. A torque limiter so if we go back if we just hit original we can see it's peaking at 322 um from 2750 all the way to 40 4500 which is actually very strange the reason that is is because this car was actually already remapped so this isn't a standard file let's go back to the bmw for example the e60 and uh, to, 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 to IQ, let's just hit next. So here's, I'll show you what it just said. Um, so that's torque by temp, there you go. So here are your torque limiters for a BMW. They're typically after these little blips here. And this, by the way, is the exact same for EDC 17. These are your maps that limit your torque uh, percentage base to offset of 0 0.012207. Because uh, if I don't have that offset, if it's have an offset of one, you're gonna see 8192. So this puts it in, in terms of zero to 100 pretty much. Uh, so here's, here's, here's your atmospheric pressure again, and here's 950, which is, you know, it, uh, it uh, extrapolates from 950 downwards. So you typically see a thousand millibars um, outside. If you're living high in the mountains, it might be a bit lower, the 800s. But typically, if we can see here, what I do is I call 800 quits. You can see here, here's the engine speed. Um, as the atmosphere pressure kind of drops and your RPM gets lower, it starts to shave off the maximum torque output even as far as 900 millibars you can see it's eight percent it's very little 
but it's probably not even noticeable. But it is something that we do change. Now, a lot, what a lot of tuners do is they just smack this whole file. Now, you see where the car is cutting quite a significant amount of power at a low, low uh, atmosphere pressure. You don't want to really change that unless you know the car is not going to be kind of seeing these kind of levels. You could just, uh, for like a, rate, uh, a, a project car, a track car, you could just max out this whole value. And then this one here is based off temperature. Again, here you can see uh, it significant, like I mean, completely drops the power of the car if it gets really hot. You kind of don't, you don't want to touch when I got drops it that much. But then again, if we look at here, you're kind of, here's 40%. So what we're doing is we're pretty much allowing power to to maintain until, see, we didn't really even change that. I only changed that by 10. Uh, but all these bits here, we changed to 100. So this is actually another torque limiter technically, but it's based off atmosphere pressure and temperature. But here are here are our true torque limiters. So if I open this here, you can see this needs an offset of 0.1. Pretty much always needs a, an offset of 0.1. So you can see here, this car was actually already was remapped as well. Uh, this was uh, an M47 uh, E60 520D. Now 450 newton meters, it won't make that much. It'll probably make on a stage one, uh, it makes about 200. Yeah, it'd make close to 450. Uh, I've seen two liter diesel Audi A3s or Audi A4s. Apologies, make uh, the CAGA and the CAGA engine, which are the 143 brake. They map to 185 brake. Um, I'll attach a photo of a dyno run and logs and stuff. Not logs, but like a picture of the car on the dyno um of making that kind of power and it makes about with with smoke with a downpipe fitted with smoke it'll make about 430s with no smoke about 68 milligrams injection they make about uh 410 newton meters of torque so this comes standard a bit higher brake so they push a little further these make about 200 horsepower on a stage one so they would see about 450 newton meters of torque so it's not completely unreasonable to see but the most important thing about torque maps is it's just being careful of where you're increasing the torque. If the car is manual, you kind of want your peak torque hitting at 2250. There you go. And this other tuner decided to think that 320 all the way to the end was necessary, which is not. But if we look at this is a this is a 1.9 BXC engine, so if I go back and look at uh, my car for example, and if we look at the torque limiter for this guy, uh, see here from factory, the end should be like this significantly dropping as you get really high in the RPMs. Like, it's a diesel engine, you're not, you're, there's, no, there's no reason to be revving that high. But you can see, this is a bone standard file I read off, the, off my car, okay? You can see the manufacturers, they not only accounted for the atmosphere pressure dropping, so if we go across here, this, not ex, not ex, this only has three bumps, it on four, but for, it's, it's still true. What I'm trying to tell you is uh, 700 millibars. Let's see where the peak is. The peak is 270, 280. Two. It's not big, but it is. It is a decent drop. Now, depending on the torque, uh, the torque to IQ maps, this could dictate. Um, I don't know at least five milligrams of fuel drop, which is I don't know could be five or five or six psi drop and that could make the difference between blowing your turbo and not blowing your turbo so you cannot just well i guess if you did show it a 20 so if i did like 20 percent increase here you can see that difference stays the same because we're increasing everything by 20 percent 
if we look at what I ended up going with on this car, so if I close view, uh, I need to open that again. So open, and we end up with the last. So this is the V5. So I didn't even touch the 700 millibars. We went up to 380 newton meter torque. It's peaking at not 2250. 2750 but we're getting 360 newton meters of torque at 2500 and 320 and then i actually down tuned between 1000 and 2000 for fuel economy reasons because the majority of the time i sit between these two rpms so you can actually save fuel you can actually make a, 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 a dynamic map in your car by down tuning uh, the revs you sit in most of the time and then you can increase then later on. So these are torque limiters for EDC 16. So let me open an EDC 17 example really quick. So A4 2 liter diesel. And if we go to torque limiter. So here's an EDC 17 file. You can see four bumps again. And as far as 700 was, so this, is not one of my own files. Because you can see, everything is, it's 465 from as early as 1750, all the way to 3000, 3250. Yeah, it's a 33% increase. So this is obviously a file I've read. So, but anyways, the principle is it's an offset of 0.5. So if you look at an EDC 17, you're going to see a figure as high as 1100. So all you simply do is 0.5 offset. Now it's kind of EDC 16. Well, it's the true values. And what I recommend is you just, so let's put this back to standard. So he doesn't want to let me put it back to standard, just a different file. I'll open up another file, another EDC 17 file, one I've actually done. Uh, 520E. There you go. Standard one popcorn limiter. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's a boost maps, torque limiter. Open. Okay, so here's an EDC 17 torque limiter map. Uh, this is very different to what you're probably used to looking at. But the way they do it is it's kind of different looking. It's a lot it's a lot bigger map. It's a four by twenty-three. But here's a look at this is kind of a more of what you'd see. Uh, I'm trying to find another one. So here's the map so I was talking about. So this is an EDC 17 file. So it's just these kind of high blips. That high blip is your RPM, 11,000. Then it drops to zero, and then it has your, all of your torque values. So win alls won't always detect. Um, but if you kind of, I'll show you how to find them. So you can see the 10, 10, four, but before that even starts, you can see there's a 21. So you need to make your, you need to increase the width to 21. Grab all the values till it, till it hits zero. And then you hit K and it'll create the map. Sometimes it'll catch the RPM, sometimes it won't. But essentially, you can see here, so we jumped by 100 Newton meters. It's a 40% increase. Now this is an automatic car, so it's more dynamic. You don't have to worry too much about clutches. Uh, but we peak. Uh, one, two, three, four, five in, which would be one, two, three, four, five. It's about 1500 RPM, because remember there's an offset of 0.5. About 1500 RPM, it's allowing 550 Nm of torque. Now this is a dual clutch transmission. It's, a, it's the iDrive box. It's more than capable of this kind of torque. 
and we hold that all the way to the last two. Uh, the last two, so 10, four. So about, that, that's 5,000 RPM. So all the way to 5K RPM. Now with the automatic gearbox, we know it's not even gonna let you go that far. Uh, unless you leave it in manual mode and even then it won't even let you rev that far so that's why we kind of we can allow these kind of things on an automatic box but on a manual box you have to be more considerate because people like to just punch it and the car won't automatically downshift to jump the car back into a, a, a better range so that's basically torque maps and since you stick to, stuck to the end how you do a popcorn limiter is I'll, uh, uh, let's see, I don't want it on one of these files. Uh, dun, 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 load boost. Yeah, this one here, we done a torque, we done a popcorn limiter. So all you do is you change the axis data. No, that's just A4. There we go, the Passat. So all you do is you go to the axis data for the RPM. And if you want to make the popcorn more spaced out, you give more of a gap. So if I put this back to original, if you want to set the popcorn number at 4400 RPM, which I always do pretty much, you put 4400, you change the RPM axis data, and then you do 4405. And for the 4400 where you want to start, you leave the, uh, the torque alone. And then the one after, you knock it down to zero. So it's a hard cut or a popcorn limiter. So you cut the fuel hard, because in the end of the day, a torque limiter is actually it's actually limiting fuel in the end of the day. And uh, that's how you do a popcorn limiter. So I hope you learned a bit there about torque limiters. Um, and the importance of setting them in the right location for manual boxes and you can be a bit more flexible on automatic boxes uh, obviously for stage two stage three jobs where there's mapped boxes and stuff you need to be considerate for that as well but for edc 16 for bmw's edc 17 uh, edc 17 for bmw's it's all pretty much the same. They all have the same kind of distinctive looks to them. And uh, yeah, hope that helped. And uh, we'll then carry on to the next video.